Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Sales Handy's Cold Email Masterclass. I'm Sanjana, a cold emailing expert here at Sales Handy. So in lesson four, we discussed the importance and the use of follow-up emails and the strategy to write the perfect follow-up email. In this lesson, we will cover the following topics. A-B testing your emails, the key metrics you should keep an eye on for your cold outreach campaigns, and lastly, how to create a checklist before launching your cold email outreach. First, let's talk about A-B testing your emails. A-B testing allows you to experiment and understand which approach leads to positive conversations. It can help with better email engagement, writing quality email content, and reducing the bounce rate. Here is an example of what A-B testing looks like. You can test two different subject lines to see which one has a higher open rate, or you can test out two different email templates to see which one has a higher response rate. A successful A-B test will give you valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work in your cold outreach efforts. Now let's discuss the key metrics for your cold outreach that you should keep an eye on. As you may know, email metrics are important for understanding the effectiveness of your email campaigns and for identifying areas for improvement. So there are two main categories of email metrics. We have engagement metrics and we have deliverability metrics. Engagement metrics measure how well your emails resonate with your audience. And deliverability metrics, on the other hand, measure how well your emails are reaching their intended recipients. Let's take a closer look at engagement and deliverability metrics. So some examples of engagement metrics include open rate, click-through rate, and conversion rate. These metrics can help you understand how interested your audience is in the content of your emails and how well your emails are driving them to take action. Deliverability metrics, on the other hand, include bounce rates, spam rates, and unsubscribe rates. These metrics can help you understand how well your emails are being delivered to your audience and whether or not they are being marked as spam. By tracking engagement and deliverability metrics, you can comprehensively understand your email campaigns' effectiveness and identify which areas need improvement. So it's very important to pay attention to both of these categories to optimize the performance of your emails. Before you hit send on that email outreach, it's important to make sure you've covered all your bases and thought through every step of the process. That's where a checklist comes in handy. So finally, let's talk about creating a checklist before launching your email campaign. The first and most important step is to make sure you have a verified email list, as an unverified list will likely lead to a high bounce rate. Secondly, always proofread your email content to ensure there are no errors from the subject line to the email signature. Any syntax or copywriting errors can leave your prospects confused. It's also a really good idea to send a test email to get a preview of how your email will look on the recipient's side. By going through this checklist, you can avoid any rookie mistakes and increase the chances of success for your email outreach campaign. This concludes our cold email masterclass. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you understood everything there is about cold emailing through this masterclass. Now the ball is in your court, so we wish you all the very best for all your cold email outreach campaigns and we hope you get the desired results you want.